Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some spring shopping, if you will, kind of... I don't know. I have a haul and everything at the end too. So what I'm going to be doing is I am taking you guys with me to three different locations. We are going to Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and also probably Home Goods will be the third option. And I'm going to be taking you guys with me and showing you all of my favorite spring florals that they have out each season. So, or each year, I guess I should say. Um, some of these are going to be items that I already use in my own home for spring and sometimes in summer too. So I just wanted to point out the items that you guys can be on the hunt for if you are in the market for some spring florals and point out prices and whatnot and then we're going to be going back to my home and I'm going to be showing you guys a haul of just florals up close and just giving you some ideas on how you can style those in the home so I have several like really good staples that I love using year after year that are from like I said Hobby Lobby also Walmart and then I'm going to Home Goods today because I'm looking for something very specific. I'm looking for a set of tulips that are kind of in like a mauvey purple color. I'm really wanting to incorporate some more just richer colors into my home when it comes to florals this spring. I typically just use a lot of whites and ivories and things like that and even though those are beautiful and they go really well with any home decor style, this year I'm just kind of wanting to get out of my comfort zone a little bit with the florals and add in some just more color. So anyways, we are at Hobby Lobby first. I just pulled up in the parking lot and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to point out all of my favorites. I'll show price tags. I do know... I. I know we like every other week um, Hobby Lobby has their floral section marked down 40% off so I will be showing a variety of florals that they have out all year long on in addition to just their spring florals so I know that anything in like their spring line is already 40% off for the season so there kind of be like a variety of prices here that I'm going to be showing you guys but just do keep in mind that anything that comes in the just everyday spring um or everyday floral section at hobby lobby those are 40 percent off every other week so we'll see um i will have everything linked down below in the description box that i am showing you and um just things like that that way you guys can get your hands on something if you can't make it in store you can order it online so without further ado let's head into hobby lobby first and i'll point out all of the florals First up in Hobby Lobby, the first thing I noticed were these Cosmos. So oddly enough, they are kind of a mauve color, which is what I'm looking for, like I had mentioned. And these are just beautiful. They actually had these in several colors to choose from. I also really liked those dark purple ones that were right next to them. And they also had some faux baby's breath, some beautiful hydrangeas, magnolia flowers, truly just a pretty good selection honestly. I feel like Hobby Lobby tends to bring out a couple of new flowers each year it seems like and as far as all of the ones that I'm showing you right now in these clips these are a part of the everyday floral section that you can find all year long. There weren't a ton that I spotted out that were specifically for the spring season only but like I had mentioned at the beginning of today's video the flowers do go 40% off every other week. So the week that I was filming this video, they were not 40% off, but I believe you can find them 40% off as of today.
up we are going to home goods now i will say the day that i went and filmed my home goods didn't have a ton to choose from but they did have a pretty variety of dried flowers so that was the main thing that i spotted out there i also went to tj maxx and they didn't have much to choose from either but then the last place i went to was walmart and i'm just gonna say do not sleep on walmart flowers they actually have some really pretty ones and they are great prices It is a couple of days later now. We are back here at my house and I want to show you some of these florals up close and personal and give you some ideas on how you can use them in your home. So we went to Hobby Lobby first, then we went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. We also went to Walmart and um, I have some items from each of those places. Actually, I don't think I have Home Goods. Um, but I do have Walmart and Hobby Lobby and I do have one little thing from Amazon that I want to show you guys as well So I am still on the hunt for some mauve purpley colored tulips I did not have any luck that day I did go to home goods and TJ Maxx that day and neither place had any unfortunately I actually saw like no tulips other than ones that were already like put together and they were all white and I'm not looking for white so who knows, maybe we will find some or I might just end up getting a totally different flower. But nonetheless, I'm gonna show you guys some items from Hobby Lobby. I didn't purchase anything that day actually. Um, all of these are items from previous years. So for starters, I wanna go ahead and start with this one here. This is actually one of the last flower bundles that I shared at Hobby Lobby. But this is one of my very favorites. I don't know exactly what this is called. I actually think this might be some type of eucalyptus, but I love this one. I actually have this styled in our bedroom in a vase and I love it. And in the store, it looked a little bit rough because it needed fluffed a ton, but this is what it looks like up close. It is that lighter kind of green color and um, it's very beautiful. It also has a little hint of like purple in there, which I think is stunning. So what I like to do is just kind of fluff this out because it does come very just common compact and um, if you fluff it out just a little bit and stick it in the right vase it looks really really good so again I have this one styled in our bedroom this one is great for spring in my opinion really all year round I think that the deep like purpley color in there can be pretty for spring for summer even for fall and again I've been using it in my bedroom for like a whole entire year now and I really love this one so I wanted to point this out um, in the clip that I showed you guys, I did show the price. I can't remember off the top what the price was, but everything that I can have linked down below, I will link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Anyways, I wanted to show you this one first. The next one I have, this is just a very simple little greenery bundle, again, from Hobby Lobby. Don't know what this is called. <laughs> again, I'm definitely not your flower girl when it comes to all the names and things. I just love decorating them, uh, decorating with them in my home. But anyways, this is just a little greenery bundle. Again, great for um, spring and summer, really. And I wanted to show you how you can take these tiny little just greenery bundles. There's clearly nothing like fancy about this at all. It's pretty much all the same color and whatnot and kind of give it an elevated look. So I shared this in my last video. I did a thrifting and antiquing video and I shared a haul and this is a little basket that I found at the thrift store. And all I did was stick some greenery like this one inside of it and then to give it a little more just I don't know, just some character and something other than just green. I did add a little bit of Cosmo stems to them. These also came from Hobby Lobby. So I simply just cut a little piece off and just stuck this in there with it. So it's very simple. Literally just place the greenery in there and stick your favorite flower stem inside and it gives it a whole new look and looks a lot better and just more put together in my opinion, a little more intentional. So anyways, I do love this. Again, the Cosmos are from Hobby Lobby. I shared tons of clips with those. They had several colors. They had, this one is actually the white, I think. Then they also had ivory. They did have those in a mauve color. So if I don't have luck with tulips, I'll probably go back and get the mauve colored Cosmos just because that's will still kind of fit the vibe that I'm going for in a way. But anyway, 
wanted to show you that how you can kind of upscale just a simple little greenery bundle and make it into a full arrangement so those were from Hobby Lobby the next thing from Hobby Lobby this is not a pick this is actually a wreath but again these are very versatile and I think really cute too so this one is like I think it's a fern just different kinds of ferns on here um, I don't remember the exact price again but I will have a link down below and um, it is just a ton of different little types of ferns so as you can see there's some bright ones there's some darker pieces in there and it's just on a grapevine wreath this is not very big um, in my opinion but if you have hooks or something or if you have like for me I have a whole entryway wall with hooks you can hang something like this on there for spring or summer and just kind of liven it up a little bit if you wanted to you can even put like a candle in here or a bowl of some sort and um, just kind of elevate it that way but personally when it comes to wreaths I just like to keep it simple and just hang it somewhere just to add a little bit of interest and some life to that space so I wanted to show you this one next up I do have some more florals from Hobby Lobby so again with the Cosmos and then I also have these little picks. So these kind of look like branches. They're very wispy. You can easily bend them. And then they just have tiny little green buds on there. So these, I believe, they only have out during spring, which means that right now these would be 40% off because um, they are a part of the spring line. I'm trying to get this to focus for you guys. Where is it at? There we go. Anyways, so it just has tiny little buds and it's just a little brown branch. But I just stuck these in, again, a thrifted crock. Or no, actually this came from an antique store. Um, if you guys have watched that antique thrift me video, then you guys have already seen this. But I do love this. I just stuck it in a crock. You can stick these in a basket. Um, different vases, just literally anything. You can even, because they are so easily like malleable, um, you can even stick them in a wreath and whatnot and just kind of bend them to your liking But again, I ended up sticking those in here and then just putting some little cosmos Just to show you how you can kind of elevate it a little bit Add some flowers to it and give it more of that spring feel So I think this is very pretty It's very simple because it is just kind of sparse throughout and um, I just think that this is so pretty so in the video where I showed where how I styled this antiquing I just had it simply placed on my coffee table looks very pretty looks very spring like and again just very simple and just subtle touches one more thing from Hobby Lobby as far as greenery goes and I don't think I actually shared these the day that I went um, I actually don't remember seeing them at all but they are these variegated stems and again, I just have it placed in a little urn here. I think these are very pretty. They're very lifelike. Again, you can bend them super easy, but they're just a little variegated like vine. And I think that they are stunning. So you could place flowers in here as well if you wanted to, to kind of elevate it a little bit. But I just think that this is so pretty, especially in a thrifted vessel. Um, this urn here was only $2 last week at the thrift store. And I just stuck some really pretty greenery in here. And you can stick this on a buffet like I have back there, a console table, a dining room table. That's how I ended up styling this piece for that video prior to this one. So very pretty very simple you don't have to have like a ton of greenery and flowers and all these things to make it feel like spring literally just add a little bit of green to your space if you want to pick your favorite flower cut those up and stick them in there mix them all together very simple very easy to do and if i remember correctly these stems were very inexpensive i think whenever um they're 40 percent off because every other week hobby lobby has their regular floral section 40 percent off these are only like four dollars a stem and they're pretty big this is actually two stems and i ended up cutting them down because they're pretty tall but nonetheless this is very beautiful and again you get a lot um kind of bang for your buck so this is very full and just very pretty Okay, the next one I want to share with you guys is actually from Amazon. I ordered these last summer and I really, really like them. They came with like, I want to say like six stems. Like it was quite a bit of stems and they were under $20 for the entire like set of them. But they are just these more bright green just little branches i shouldn't say little these are actually very tall as you guys can tell i just have them bent from last year when i had them in a vase but this is what they look like up close they just have little green leaves on there i think they are super pretty Let's see if this can focus again there we go they're just very pretty very subtle and the branches look very realistic in my opinion but yes again 
my one of my favorite things about like faux florals is that you can bend them and you don't have to worry about them breaking um i don't have a ton of experience with real flowers but i feel like that's kind of you know one of the things that you can't really do as much is bend them so anyways these just move super easy and I love them again. They're very simple. They're very subtle. There's not a ton to them really. It's just a bunch of little green leaves. But if you put several of these in a large vase or something, you can make such a beautiful arrangement. I've also seen faux trees that look like this too. So if you kind of wanted that mix and match type of look, you can do that. I have also in the past taken large branches like this and made a faux tree for my house. It was actually in the fall a couple of years ago and I love that. So there's tons of different options to do with branches like this. They go a really long way, but I just think that these are super pretty and again, very affordable. If I can link this exact um, set that I ordered down below, I will. I always keep my Amazon affiliate like storefront down there if you wanna check that out. I think I have a whole section that's like dedicated to faux plants and whatnot. But anyways, wanted to point this one out. Again, this is great for summer, but I think spring as well. You can do a lot with this piece. Okay, I have three more to share with you guys. All three of these are from Walmart. And Walmart has just been very impressive to me as far as their floral section goes. I feel like people don't really tend to go there as often for florals just because they might think they look cheaper and whatnot. But honestly, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I think some, so a lot of these flowers I'm getting ready to show you look identical to the ones at Hobby Lobby and they're pretty much the same price when the Hobby Lobby ones are on sale. I think Walmart's might even be a little bit cheaper but they look very similar. They just don't have as wide of a variety. So anyways, that's something that I wanted to point out to you guys. You don't have to go to Hobby Lobby for all of your florals. Walmart definitely has a great selection in my opinion. So these are some like the ones I'm getting ready to show you are items that I've used year after year after year that I just absolutely love. So Anyways, wanted to point that out. But the first one is this white hydrangea. I think white flowers are just beautiful, but um, for the hydrangea, these are huge in my opinion. Like, I mean, this thing is almost the same size as my head. It does come with two leaves, or at least this one did. Um, Anyways, and again, it is fairly long, so you can bend these accordion style. They will fit in pretty much any type of vessel. But again, these, so last year I took, I think, three of these and put them in a brass vase. If I can find a picture, I'll post it on here somewhere on the screen. But um, anyways, I just stuck like those little greenery pieces that I showed you guys kind of like this. Just stick these throughout and you can make it look really full and, um, you know, just kind of give it that vibe where there's a lot more in there. It's not just the flower. So this is what they look like up close. Very realistic again, in my opinion. It does have a little bit of like yellow and like a little bit of like almost a lime green color in the center. And um, again, just the darker leaves. So these are very pretty. I wanna say these were like 350 a stem. They weren't very much at all, but these are very beautiful. And the Walmart that I've been to, they only had white and maybe a light green. I actually think they do have a light green that almost had like a pinkish center. Those are very pretty too and very realistic as well. So kudos to Walmart for having hydrangeas. And then one of my all time favorites are magnolia stems. So I know magnolias bloom in the summer, um, but they're just so pretty and I think that they're gorgeous for spring as well So this is just a single stem again from Walmart and again, they also had these Identical at Hobby Lobby. I want to say Hobby Lobby's were like maybe five or six dollars a stem and the ones at Walmart are around like four dollars. So look basically identical in my opinion. Um, this one does have several leaves on there. They're just a darker green. This looks super realistic. My parents have a magnolia tree in their backyard and this looks identical to like the real bloom. Um, so anyway, just wanted to point that out there, but they do have the detail in the center. The flower is gorgeous. Again, it is very large, as you can tell. Um, but I love mixing these in large vases too. I've done that in the past and I've mixed them with the stem that I'm getting ready to show you guys. That's probably my all time favorite, but these are beautiful. You can't go wrong with the magnolia stem. I do know that Hobby Lobby had two varieties of magnolia stems. They had these where it's the full bloom and then they also had some 
that had the buds on there along with maybe a bloom or two so they had variety but as far as walmart goes they just had the single stem and i think it's gorgeous i love this you can do a ton with these and um yeah they just go a really long way okay i wanted to show you the stem that is probably my all-time favorite favorite for sure my all-time favorite from walmart and it is this gigantic cherry blossom stem i think it is stunning these are such a great price and if you like those white flowers that are just very big and um they just you know take up a lot of space when it comes to like vases and arrangements and just make a real big statement but don't want to spend a ton of money i think that this is perfect these are around like maybe five dollars a stem they might even be less than that honestly and they are just very impressive in my opinion they're so pretty there's a lot of coloring on the leaves so there's like some green and then some of the tips of the leaves kind of end in like this almost like a plum color um but they are beautiful so this is what the flower looks like up close there's a little bit of yellowing in there as well and this is the leaf that I'm talking about where it's green and then kind of ends in almost like a mauve plumish color. The branches look realistic in my opinion. They are shinier because they are a, like a plastic. But honestly, whenever <laughs> they're styled with other things, I don't even think it really matters that much. Honestly, I've used these year after year, probably the last four years now, um, if not longer. And I love them. What I've done before is actually paired these together. Like I put some magnolia stems in with the cherry blossom and they're beautiful. And I only have one cherry blossom stem and I think it just goes a long, long way. You can make such a great statement with these. Last year I took a wicker bottle and I placed it at the, like at the base of my um, black hutch back here in my dining room. It was stunning. You didn't have to do anything i literally just stuck it in a bottle it was beautiful and it just screams spring in my opinion so again this is what these look like these are such a fantastic price some of these even have little like yellow um details in the center there and i just think that these are stunning so anyways that is all of the affordable spring florals that i wanted to share with you guys again all of these came from walmart and um, hobby lobby and amazon as well so tons of great options to choose from at all of those places all really fantastic prices different varieties to choose from at each store and i just think that you cannot go wrong so i cannot wait to start decorating for spring i have already started to do some spring related videos i did have a huge thrifted spring decor haul so if you missed that be sure to check it out i will have it linked down below in my playlist for spring 2024 I also filmed a spring antique and thrifting with me and we came back to my house. I shared a haul and how to use the pieces that I found that day for spring decorating. And then today's video full of affordable spring florals. So we are going to be decorating my house for spring very, very soon. Those will probably be coming up next week. Um, we're gonna be decorating our living room, my dining room and my kitchen as well. Going to be keep it very simple. Um, I don't like to do a ton. I truly believe less is more and I love using Using my everyday decor as my staples like as far as rugs and pillows and things like that and just like to add those subtle touches with flowers and greenery and things along those lines so anyways thank you guys so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed today's video going shopping with me in this haul and getting some spring decorating ideas for this year if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you and be sure to hit that bell notification that way you're notified every time i post i typically try to post two videos a week so stay tuned for much more spring decorating ideas coming your way I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.